okay. when you play it, you know, you can feel it. There, it does feel like there's a little more grit in combat. There's a little bit more. If you say so. Or wait. Yeah, there, there's a little bit more uh, commitment to what your actions are. Is there? But uh, it comes back very fast still. And the big thing, <laughs> thing and the best thing about this uh, is that it, it was specifically to find a natural way to prevent infinite roll spamming. So you can still roll forever. I'm sorry, did they just say that in one sentence? A few days ago, Conan Exile devs did a live stream for the Chapter 4 Age of War release. As I've been playing this game for a really long time and I don't usually react to these dev live streams, I thought I might. I've seen things change here and there a bunch of times and as I now make content for the game and helpful guides, check them out, I thought I'd give my opinion on how they are changing the game. The thoughts here on out are mine and mine alone and if you don't agree that is totally fine. This is my favourite game after all. There's many things I do love about Conan Exiles but a lot of things that leave me wondering. Sit back, relax, grab a Bridge and prepare to listen to my digressing rants about this game. Uh, we're back again with another uh, developer live stream, uh, going over uh, all there is to know about Age of War Chapter 4. So for those of you at home who have been following along, the public beta for Chapter 4 is uh, now available as of actually yesterday. We've got packed show today. Uh, we're going to be going over uh, all the things you can expect coming to you in Chapter 4 of Age of War when it comes out April 2nd. So we'll be going over a new seasonal event that will be introduced with this update, expansions to the purge system, fatality system, bunch of quality of life improvements, uh, and of course a whole slew of uh, new additions to the bazaar and the Battle Pass, which we'll be covering as much as we can today, but we got a lot to cover today. That all sounds super exciting, and I'm looking forward to some of the things if they implement them well, but my history with Funcom tells me they may not deal with it so well. Every update that we do, you know, there's stuff that trickles over from one update to another, and we always look at the feedback that people give about things that they liked and didn't like, so we can inform ourselves going forward on, you know, the, the new stuff that we'll do. We'll touch on some of that during the stream today, though, so I guess I don't need to get ahead of myself, and we can kind of just Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, <laughs> for sure. So let's see, so yeah, this is, this is certainly, Chapter 4, the inclusion of Chapter 4 is a, um, bit, of a bit of a pretty, pretty significant shift uh, as far as like our original plans were for like the entire like eight chapter system um i mean basically it was just like there's a whole bunch of stuff that we had intended to add throughout the age and uh we're now adding it the fourth chapter essentially like, can you give any like have we, i don't know if we've like really talked about that's something that seems weird to me why did we need to add the extra age was it so important to add this stuff could it have not waited i mean i have after all heard dennis ramble years ago that mounts would never make it into this game it just wasn't a thing that was possible they couldn't figure out the physics Half my tribe stopped playing because they were annoyed waiting and getting around to the map but was tedious as we only had travel by obelisks. One day, like three to six months after that, I can't really remember, they just randomly released mounts. Don't tell us things can't happen and then make them happen and I think they have learnt from that and that's why they are very dubious with some of their words on where they can or cannot provide in this game. But the fact that they make us wait for entire seasons almost to fix certain aspects like stamina, which allegedly they're fixed and we'll see a bit more of that in a moment. Let's continue. It was kind of two things that came to a head at the same time and just, you know, kind of gave us the realization that, hey, we needed to move to four chapters. So one was that we had a lot of stuff in chapter three that was mostly done and ready to ship, but not quite ready. And if we moved on to a new age, it might never see the light of day. <laughs> so that was the first thing. Um, and the other was a shift in the way we wanted to approach our timeline as a development team. Mm -hmm. I think I remember talking about this because it's a lot more of uh, the boring stuff to hear, but basically it gives us more time to work on the stuff that come out in certain chapters. And it'll just mean that we get better, you know, deeper. I don't think waiting for higher quality content and upon their releases has actually been an issue for them. That's straight lies. They just release broken stuff. It's it's kind of why I don't play on the test live server anymore because I used to try and bring out content for you all to prepare you for the changes, but a lot of those changes they don't actually implement. So we're test living a server, we're testing the game for it to not actually be the game that we're testing upon release. And that has irked me in previous releases of updates. And um, unless they quit doing that, I'm probably just going to stop testing the game on the beta because it's not the game that they're releasing anyway. Again, digressing. That was straight up way too much effort switching between big screen and them. So here we are in so the board meeting. The first and third chapters in a... a and I slowed it down the, just a smidge. You find the bulk of the like new features, new functionality kind of stuff. Chapter two and chapter four will typically just be more content that builds upon the things that we've already uh, released in previous chapters or ages even. And just so take away other stuff. The event system. That you back. You know, new events like the one we'll be talking about today. Um, and then just and randomly take it away. Things like the loot That's updates up. and things like that. Uh, you know, camp placement stuff. That that would all typically fall into the uh, more content-oriented chapters in, in 2 and 4, where 1 and 3 will be a lot more about. Like, why do very minimal to your game and then just decide one day, we're having chapters, we're having battle passes. Could it be a bit of a muddy grab from a dying community? 
maybe. They had the opportunity to have a real winner of a PvP game, and I know nobody cares. Everybody loves the PvE aspect of the game. It is great, for sure. But the first reason why I started playing this game was PvP. I am a PvP player by trade, I suppose. Although I do love building and survival games in general, I would love them to just consider us just a little bit and not just say that they are, because they're not really. And I, they, they obviously care most about their role players because that's who plays their game mostly now. But they did have the opportunity to have a very popular PvP game and have the majority of their community be PvPers. But apparently we're a little bit harder to appease because we don't just want random cosmetics or pay to win DLCs and then they want to add a battle pass. So yeah, why why would they listen to us? Continue. Or like, yeah. Purges. Purges. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Well, great. So, uh, mm, and then forward, I think the, I believe the plan is, yeah, like we'll have, we'll have more capped for, for each age moving forward. Yeah. So. And, and as always, I mean, anything is subject to change. Sure, yeah, yeah. Wanna... As always, it's subject to change. They might just add it, but then they might just change their mind and take it out completely or change its stat. Get you used to something, make a whole guide on it, for instance, and then, whoop, gone. That's just me being bitter. That's a personal thing, but it's probably affected you a time or two. And to do an age that was two chapters, we would not do that just because we yeah. said we'll do four. So, um, you know, go. So, yeah. And I'll just right. randomly do so chapters. First, things first, I think I'm, we're just going to jump into the content of chapter or four. So the 20 minutes in, I haven't even jumped in in saying that I'm like <laughs> a bit into this <laughs> video. Things uh, in my I might jump through uh, through the, I have the a intro here. I saw someone in chat so. commenting about who, who's, who's piloting. It's it, it's me. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's drunk. But uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll, those are some of the new like building sets and armor sets that uh, we'll be we'll be showing towards the end of the stream. Um, but yeah, so one of the first things that is new to chapter four is a seasonal event, the secret hunt. Can we talk about that? I wouldn't call it. Are they keeping in random events or are they just randomly leaving? Or are they random encounters? I don't even know what they're called because they just randomly changed that name of the encounters. So there will be things that I'm not going to be bitter about. If you are a core cool, avid lover of everything that Funcom does, this won't just me being bitter the entire time. But this is the opinion of someone who has over 10,000 hours in this game across PvP, PvE, and just pottering about on random mods and stuff. So it's it's not an opinion that's lightly had. I've definitely experienced this game. Seasonal specifically, uh, but it is an event that uh, we consider to be some, like something of an evergreen mm -hmm. event. So right now during this age, whenever the age comes out, the event will be active. And then at some point it'll go away. We put them there in here. Yeah. It's like um, a lot of screens to watch them on. system that we worked on uh, whenever the sorcery release came out so we have the ability to, to turn them on and off and this will be one of those things um it's an event with a handful of unique content don't buy my toes cat of al mariah or do we want to show off the uh like the camp and all that first let's see yeah let's go to the let's see this hunt i did not even see where they went ah yes yeah, so the way this okay. kind of starts out will be at the one, two ways for den. you. It'll be either you see the giant green beam in the sky, uh, which will guide you here. Uh, you guys uh, and gals might recognize this from the uh, Metcomosis uh, Spire repurposed for this event. So anytime you see a big beam in the sky, uh, you know there's probably something to find there. And or uh, there's another form for this one, however. Good uh, whenever it shrine time, if you play PvP. The Exile Lands or Sipta, you can be ambushed by were hyenas, And killing those hyenas will give you a little satchel of rewards and probably a map as well. And the map will, you know, guide you to this location. So you come here to find out what's going on. Another item to redundantly fill my inventory. I can't wait. Going on after you, after you, you get this, you know, cryptic uh, skin map <laughs> and uh, you find some people you can speak with. So we have several characters. At least let me dismantle this map to give me a random bit of papyrus something, not just something I have to dump endlessly. Characters that we worked on for this uh, event that are fully voice acted. We also made a new dialogue system, uh, and this this character here is you. What things? Dialogue system. Uh, they'll tell you about the event. They will teach you how to. I mean, to be fair, they needed some more story. They needed more activity. I've been saying it for years. They needed that. They needed longevity. But they could take a bit of a more of a call from some of the mods like AOC, Age of Calamitous, or even Iwa, End Game Extended Weapons Arsenal. They have a lot of quests and end game stuff that has a lot of longevity to the game. They really could add a lot of that stuff. Work with those mods who put in a lot of effort to expand this game, but instead they do whatever they do and implement it poorly, break their code because they're apparently not actually coders, which is crazy because they make a game and um, they don't know how to fix stuff and then just uh, we'll get to some of that stuff. But they needed this for sure. Mm -hmm. and they also give you the option to opt out of the event. So if you don't want to be attacked by a at night, you can come here and say, hey, Good. don't. 
That should send me. Yep, you can leave the hunt, and whenever you come back and speak with her again, you can join again, and that'll just re-enable those ambushes on you. Uh, why you would want the ambushes, they drop teeth. So whenever you collect those teeth, you can bring them to this vendor, and you can get a lot of different recipes. Uh, you Let's see some of those recipes, because my head's in the way. You can get the, the things at the top are... are oh, teeth, there. and they'll probably vanish at so the end of the Age of War, or, because or like they'll be like the ancient yeah. obelisks. This stuff is all... Like, why aren't the ancient obelisks still given from the crates that you get from the blood crystals, and then we use those to buy shit at the tavern or off the dudes that you rescue from the perch? And I get that they were meant to disappear after the end of every age or whatever. Then they just never brought them back. <laughs> Cosmetic and um, and it seems like they could waste less time developing new things like this and just use some of their old things and I don't know they could be a bit of a bit of bit of a better balance where they could implement their time more wisely. What, like weapon recipes, placeables. But I only did computer design in like twenty years ago in high school. Let's see. So going from there, once you know that and you learn more about the event, uh, she'll essentially teach you that there are some champions in the world. But maybe we should do a little bit of a rewind and mm -hmm. talk about why this is happening in the first place. Whenever the Stygians came in the Age of War. You might not know if you're just a video game head, but there is actually a whole bunch of lore in this game that has to do with Robert E. Howard's world. And I have a fair few comics back there on Conan, and I have all the movies and stuff. So I'm actually a Conan the Barbarian fan from way back. I don't just like survival games. I have a vested interest in liking this game. War, and they plowed through the world and took a lot of people out, and, you know, leaving a lot of bodies in their wake. One of the places that they really pillaged is the uh, ruins of El Moriah, which was once occupied by Dogs of the Desert, you might remember. And <clears throat> if you were to go to the siege, which I don't remember exactly where it was, it's a little bit northeast of where you're at. Um, actually, maybe we should use the tableaus as the point of reference. I don't know. Oh, That's yeah! Okay. So, they... The preparation, like I don't script a single one of my videos and I think that comes across a little bit evident with the fact that I can't speak and I do often forget little things here and there and I misremember stuff because they change it all of the time and I've been playing it so long and dyslexia and excuses, whatever. But these guys are professionals. I just randomly started doing this one day because I know a lot about this game and I like video games and I like entertaining people. This is what they do for a whole ass living. So that's hilarious. They took out a bunch of were hyenas whenever they came in and <laughs> you know, some events have transpired that have has kind of recalled Jebel Sog's attention toward the world because those were hyenas were taken out. And you'll be able to see that tableau location play out in real life as well. Uh, in terms of, you know, actually visiting the place. Sorry, fake real life, uh, e real life. So. Exile lands real life. <laughs> I mean, who they kid in Exile's lands is live. Conan is live. Yeah, so... You Unfortunately, I do actually know life this shit far too much, hence why I am Illipedia on the game. You'll see uh, in, in the tableaus here, um, mm. so the Stygians have been defeated. That's where we left off in chapter three, right? The exiles have taken back the ruins of El Moriah in their timeline, and uh, they're, they're kind of celebrating, helping each other back up, and then we move forward and find that, continuing on, someone has located a little bit of a weird mm. entrance, you know? This? So yeah. it's like, hey, where's, where's that? What's Whoa, that? What's this? They go down further. Hidden secrets in battle pass backgrounds interesting and see that there's a cave uh, mm, that's what down. i think of that oh they see there's some you know scary no that's pretty tricksy i don't i, I if you are unfamiliar with the one the only the crunk syrinthesis my favorite conan creator he did a whole ass video that you need to see <laughs> piecing together some of the laws in this game link will be somewhere in the description it's well worth the watch very markings on the wall and some glowing mushrooms on the ground and they if you know you know make it to an altar mm, we can find all this underneath the, the castle right can, yes. yeah yeah so if you follow through the tableaus and oh, yeah, go through to the second. end and and go to um you know the actual ruins themselves you'll be able to find no. that cave and that's kind of oh the God, that's you know the, the basis for all this starting um jebel sog is not happy so that his followers have been wiped out and oh i'm so sorry yes and as a result, uh, his great yes, has uh, been unleashed upon the world. So now we have all of these people kind of like in the Midnight Grove vying for his uh, his favor, right? They're trying to become the champion of Jebel Sog. You're I find Jebel Sog Dungeon to be one of the most underrated places. I like to go there to level up as there's lots of Amanita mushrooms. Although they may be taking out the ability to harvest those with a pick or a sickle. So we shall see. 
see. They did allude highly to being able to no longer harvest certain hand harvestables with tools anymore. You can't get bugs like the grubs off the ground now by hitting them with an axe. This be another thing that they'll change and I'll have to make another guide on even though I am not fully done making all the other evergreen guides that I need to make on the game. They go and change other stuff which makes the guides I've already made obsolete. A little bit frustrating just from a guide making point of view and probably from a guide consuming point of view because then the shit you'll watch is outdated and it's confusing. I do try to be as up to date as I can, but there is stuff here and there that I forget that they've added or taken out. One of the people that can choose to try to become that champion. So you'll go around the map, and I find books. his champions, kill them and gather their teeth, and earn his favor. Gather enough teeth, teeth. you can challenge his ultimate champion and become like, you know, the actual champion ah. of Jebel Soft. And there's some <laughs> unique rewards and stuff that come into play with that as well, which I think are- I like that Andy looked genuinely shocked by that random little scream that happened. Let's go back here. Yeah, really cool. Like being in the middle. And we also got some uh, top caliber voice. Talent. Feeling important. Not oh, that these guys yeah. would ever recognize yeah, me as a content creator. I found it. Where the? Where's the hole, Dennis? No shot. Sure. If they actually can't find the entrance to their new cave entrance, that's amazing. I remember when they added in the Kari dungeon, and instantly I was like, I wonder if it's here. They found a little notebook right inside little Conan's cellar. Um, Conan's house that alludes to it, and um, yeah, found it straight away. It was really easy. Everything in this game is really dang easy, and they just they need to fix so much, and they don't fix those things. And then they add other nonsense that they can't even figure out, which is perfect. Again, digress. Let's continue. Well, if you if you remember the tableaus, you might see, you might have right. seen something. I just said this is gonna be a long ass video. To the right of the stairs there. Let's figure it out together, Chad. Okay, let's deduce. Let's deduce. This is an investigation mission now. So over by here? Over here? No shot. Sure. They actually... I was joking a little bit. He actually can't find it. Over here? I'm just cloaked. Am I going the right direction? Am I, am I warm? You'll get mad at me for running around cloaked for making videos and stuff. It is legitimately a lot easier when you're trying to figure stuff out and or film things. So if the devs can do it, stop getting angry at me every now and then. For the most part, you're all fine. But people to be getting mad over weird shit. Probably like me digressing constantly like this. But if you watch me, you watch me also for my rambles. Kind of. No thoughts head empty. I don't know what I'm doing here. Wait. I'm a package deal. Oh, we'll show Ooh. that later. Spicy. Oh, I, I know. I want to go back to that. What was that? That's going to take me a second. Damn it. Am I going the right direction? Am I, am I warm? <laughs> Kind of. No this was I don't know what I'm doing here. Wait, let's figure it out together, chat. How oh. Okay, a little sneak peeks. Again, there's some um, hidden stuff. I like that they're adding like an Aquilonian version of things. There needs to be a lot more variance to the hidden stuff, so it's not so obvious it's that is the hidden thing, because it would be handy if it was like there are mods like um the dudes mod that has walls that just look like walls and then they're turny walls. Add that. That'd be fucking sick. Anywho, I do and like this blacksmith bench being only tier one that annoys me immensely i can't even skin a fancier blacksmith with it which is fine if you're a role player and you're just building nonsense stuff to look cool but there also needs to be some applications for the other aspect of this game which is pvp and there's just so much obsolete stuff and even for role play a lot of the stuff doesn't have to be as obsolete as it is they could make it useful too but that bar set looks sick i do love building a spring again digressing sorry skip past my rambles if you must or watch someone I'll else i don't care Wait. like i said package deal i'm so confused i'm usually better at finding this kind of stuff i'm usually what? better at Wait. playing the game <laughs> Where are the stairs? Chat, help me. Oh my god, go back. Okay. Wait, I'll wait, go. Wait, I get those feels. Sometimes I'm just like, I can't. Wait, press E to interact. Hello? Nope, just a random press E to interact thing because Hello? they're everywhere in this game. I like yeah, how they just glossed over no, that. You don't see me. <laughs> Not a conquistador. No, 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 not as not as Zangarian mercenary whatsoever. No, 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 nonsense. You're not a malarkey here in Stygia land. Dude, where is it? I don't know where it is. I'm so bad. Wait, is chat making fun of me? Those chat's making fun of you. That's true. I'm making fun of you. That's crazy. Right, take take the shortcut. Ah, right, right, right. I forgot I have those. This is actually wild to me. Using responsibility. Yeah, yeah. It just glosses oh, over that. It. it has to Thanks. ghost in. Do we get to see the entrance? No, nope. get to figure that out for ourselves. Cool. So dark. But yes. Oh, it's very As correct a, dungeon vibes. Some uh, some eagle-eyed folks on uh, Twitter might have recognized this picture that I snuck in as a reply. So yeah, this is directly under the Amarai Castle. Uh, what do we? So what's uh, what's the story here? Can you can you tell me what? Yeah, I can. What is this? What's all this? Yeah, what's <laughs> so the story what you, here? Those, those characters at the camp, they'll they'll tell you that you, you essentially need to get these lures from them and bring them to some specific places. They'll give you hints. Oh, uh, holes. So oh, holes. Mm -hmm. Where some of those places are, at least. And uh, you know, you bring the lure definitely didn't say holes. The altar and then challenge the. Uh, the champion. Mm -hmm. All right.
I don't know, because they won't let me have subtitles. They're not available. God, I'm really not this bitter about this game. They just make me this way because they do so much dumb stuff. Missed opportunities everywhere. It'd be such a good game. It is a good game, but it could be a better game. It'd be liked by more people. And then they wouldn't have to do cash grabs like the stupid bizarre stuff. They're just their perfectly fine DLC packs. <laughs> Oh, I they're it. interested in what they're doing. Oh, what could this be? A peculiar rock? At one point, there was lures that you could place yeah, from the Jebel Sarg yeah. dungeon that they had added, and you could summon hyenas. So this isn't even that new of a mechanic. They've just retweaked it from something they took out years ago, just so you know. Let's give ourselves something cool. Something cool? Mm -hmm. Can't even have shit from their own game. That is so good. Yeah, that's how we feel every time we can't spawn in something in admin mode. Can I do it? Am I going to give it a test? Something cool is just going to be yeah, like a star yeah. metal thing. Oh, uh, yes. Not even cool. Done any of my uh, attributes or anything like that. So this is going to be <laughs> extremely funny. Oh, wow. You know, there's another really important thing that you can do. <laughs> Literally oh, yeah. me going into every battle, that's though. True. I'm like, I could yeah, so this is the, so this is leave and roll do, away. Right? Yeah, attacks. Yeah. This is, I can't oh, say anything right. else. Yeah, literally me. So Two anyway, I'm just going to go die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. This is a, this is an old, old call back here. Doink, 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 doink. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. What are you doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. HR. Toss? <laughs> oh, okay. Getting naked so, I, I so you don't ruin your durability? Because I wasn't reading because I have no thoughts and my head is empty. But uh, the idea there is that you- He has no thoughts and his head is empty. Specific war paint. Yeah. So that's one of the things they tell you. In order to, uh, you know, get Jebel Sog's favor, you need to slather yourself in, self in his symbols and go without clothes. So so they took away the reason to have war paints, because if you're newer to the game, war paints usually had no benefit. But every now and then you could get one that gave you a buff and you could put on yourself or thralls. They lasted forever or until you died. They had a sleuthing solution, which was to get it off, but that never did anything. And then one day they decided to change war paints, so they just wore off with Within like an hour, which was super annoying, especially when it was just a cosmetic wall paint. I understood when it was a buff wall paint, sure. But then they went and just took away those type of buffs because they changed the whole attribute system in the game. And instead of changing those wall paints, they just stopped them from doing anything. But they didn't change the descriptions. They still say they do stuff. That's how much they give fucks. And now wall paints apparently do stuff, but only this one specific thing. So you can fight some random event thing naked until they decide to take it out of the game. The whole event is done naked. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is neat. Which I don't mind because I like to run around naked in this game all of the time. Everything in this game is like super doable naked. I swear I could just like, anyway. I actually think Syrinthesis actually did a video on that as well. Again. I'm fairly sure that so, was apart it. Apart from some of these champions, can you tell us more about the event itself? Mm -hmm. Some things that we're going to touch on. Let's see. So I'm going to go over here, get the things I need. I see the panther is still marked. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I need a gnarled fang. A gnarled fang. Well, Incredible. Well, it is on Sifta as well. Yep. Nice. There we go. Hell yeah, brother. Time to fight some panther. Panthers. Yeah, I'm not turning full new to be on yeah. Twitch. I don't want to get banned. I hate that but, about making content because yeah, I never play the game naked anymore. And that's like the uh, reason uh, why I got the I game know, originally I mean, was because I thought that was weapon. hilarious with those sticks right? swinging in the wind. Weapon, right? You can fight him with a weapon. Oh, well, God damn it. Well, <laughs> he just thought he was going to fist cuffed him down. So he doesn't know what's happening at all. And he helps with the game. He should have a little bit of an idea. It makes me feel a lot better when I have no idea what's going on. Well, all right. Uh, you're going to need some which, to be fair, is right. He could benefit from a bed girl. I'm going to need some more. Get yourself some paint. I should probably get myself some paint. Or we can show some other things because I dying to the first champion twice in a row is not a great look for, for general player base. But hey, you know, everyone knows I suck, so it's okay. It's all right, right? That's just okay, going to be the general player base's experience with the game, and they should maybe take uh, that as a little bit of a... Oh, I think so. There we go. A little bit of a pointer, if you plan on maybe? Dying, you're going to want more. I always plan on dying. The war paint does get cleared when you die. Oh. Okay. Oh, 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 I forgot we changed that like three years ago. Oh. I will have my revenge. You can probably still wear armor, you just have to be you wearing have the, uh, the wool paint. System, so I bet. <laughs> see how. Oh my god. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't have roll bound either. This is going to be. Uh... Oh, wow, wait. What? what I know those fills. Oh, I did not. Either. Did well, not have shield bound. I, 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 I mean, yeah, roll bound the recently. Power of sag just just over over In a video, I'm just I, I, kicking. I, I, I emerged victorious, chat. Yeah. So after you kill the the champions, you'll get some more loot from them. You know, you can you can mm, pull some more stuff off their uh, you know some good materials from skinning them as well. Mm -hmm. In some cases, there's some. Wow. Stuff from them. That really sent like worth my time. 
That's right. And is then, this a new interface we have? It is. What I think the? that's an entirely separate section of it our is. stream presentation. It is, yes. <laughs> but just, yeah. Just... I didn't even take that in at all, that the interface was so different. So what we've got is like, how to search over here. That's mildly handy. They've had, they have kind of needed that for a bit, but it used to be over here. And I'm going to have to get used to style. And are they not going to read that description? For those of you who haven't had a chance to play yeah. on public beta yet, we have some other cool interface updates. Oh, what's this? What the? Yeah. When we've done some early previews. Yeah. I, like I said, I probably won't be playing the public beta because of the fact that they just don't release enough of the content that they're testing there or they release extra content they haven't bothered to get us to test that's usually broken. And it's just not worth my time at the moment, unfortunately. So don't look forward to a bunch of free update release guides from me this round. Maybe next time I will be doing that, but I will be focusing on some more of my PvP guides, whether it be on official or another server. Is ahead of time. Um, we shall see. Do the interface first, and everyone was like, "Wait, whoa, 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 yeah, yeah." It's like, "Excuse me, well, what are the what, what's going on here? What are these what are these little icons here?" Yeah. And the, the, the reaction from. I still want to read people. that description though. Yeah. So Andy killed yes. one champion. There's several more. Each of them drops a unique uh, item that's used in a crafting recipe. I have to go through and read all the descriptions again one day. Uh, and then that gives you the lore to fight the champion, mm -hmm. uh, the, the current the current champion of heavyweight world ball. heavyweight champion of Jebel Sog. And some of you may have seen them on a little, maybe a little taste of them on social media. It's the strange creature with glowing blue eyes staring mm -hmm. at the camera right back at you. I'm sure there'll be, uh, I'm sure all our amazing content creators already have guides on how to how to fight the, the weird bear. <laughs> Every amazing content creator except for me. I actually feel targeted. They, they've never once acknowledged that I make content on this game, which sucks. But it's okay. I still do it because I have, I, I feel like it's because I do make some PvP content, although the vast majority of my content can be used on PvP and PvE. I feel targeted. I think it's just paranoia. <laughs> but it's weird that people will have like 200 subs and make a guide about nothing and get a feature and they just hate me. Maybe it's because I swear I'm not very user friendly. I don't know. I had a lot of fun last night watching people just Wild bolts. Stuff, uh, trying to figure out how things work and seeing the new mobs and freaking out and everything. So. Yeah, yeah. It's all it's always fun like that. Another reason why I'm in no rush to make certain guides on things like that because they'll come out by a whole bunch of those other creators that give well more fucks about this game. I like to do the slightly less known about stuff or the stuff that's more helpful for beginners that seems like it's endgame but it's not really. I know. I know my content's pretty all over the shop. We'll have a consistency one day. Uh, the when new stuff comes out and you don't know what's what exactly is around the corner, that like initial discovery mm -hmm. phase is like really it lasts about two thing. seconds. Figure their their stuff out, yeah. <clears throat> So, okay, and then the is the that hard, right? like the big, or is the Beast of Regalia the, the the big one for the final boss? I'm trying to remember. The potion takes you to to the final, the final boss. Right? Yeah, okay, gotcha. right. right so right, this right. would be similar to the potion of midnight uh, that'll take you to a new boss arena. We can figure it at the very least. Yeah, we're gonna be able to die horribly. Definitely. Hello. Hey. Oh. Oh, we've entered up through the rear end of Jebel Sog Dungeon. Ooh. And then you'll also need the uh, Grand Champion lore that you can spawn. Oh yeah, because uh, that's what's crafted. So I wonder if they just copied this area what? specifically what? and it's not actually in the Dumple oh, uh, area. It's not the right one. It's like over there. Is it the Champion Grand. one? Grand Champion. Yeah, so you used to be able to make symbols. So you could put it on the ground like that and then put lures in them and it would summon hyenas. I don't think it works anymore. And then you could hack them up yeah. and get Shade Bloom from them. It's time for me to... <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. Got smooshed. Yep. It's a skill issue, I know. Yeah, so there, there's a new I really feel like you can probably wear armor. That they're stupid. And, and everything. Um, Even if it's not designed that you were meant to wear armor, you probably still can. Okay. Anyway. I'm not sure how much I should say. Yeah, but there's some stuff. Fun facts. Every single update, they will break something. And they will, every single time, enable some type of item duping, glitching, enableability. Every single time, without fail. So always look out for that funness, if, especially if you play official. There are people who just dedicate all of their time on test life to figure out those things. Don't actually tell Funcom about it. And then it comes into actual release and then they get a head jump and can do all of the duping. And that just makes playing official heinous. <laughs> Stuff hidden, right? There's some mm -hmm. stuff that we haven't shown, and, and I don't I don't know if we should out it all now or let people have fun finding it on their own. I let people have fun. That's kind of how I feel too. Own. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's all it's all out there right now in the public beta stuff too. So if you if you want to play, you can just check it out now, and it comes out. For yeah, until that's not what actually comes out. I've played the public beta, and there's been definite stuff in there that has not come out in the actual live game, which is weird. For reals on April second, so. so you can just check it out yourself. You know, your, your special mm -hmm. stream can be that we did not leave the tavern behind. <laughs> I'm not that spit on. I'm just. Yeah. Also, you remember, you know, the tavern we've introduced that lets 
NPCs come visit your base, maybe check it out this episode. Yeah. See what happens. You never know who might come wandering through your door to order a drink at your establishment. A pizza. And a pizza. I still not have with messed with those taverns too much. Okay, so that is the season, or the, no, sorry, not, not the correct word. Uh, that is the Secret Hunt, a new event coming to chapter four. Uh, we're not showing everything because... Not that secret. We want you to figure everything out, figure things out on your own. But on that note, of course, you know, the secret hunt is about, you know, the, the, the spilling of blood and, and the, the name of, I suppose, the, secret, the great order of things. And you know, part of the great order of things, I think, in the Conan universe is making the blood of your enemies flow and making heads roll. And so we're finally adding that proper. We got fatalities. Ah, the fatalities. So tell us about the fatality system. Yeah, definitely. There's um, Could be cool. Could be shit. Could be something we don't need. Things and, and versions of it. And uh, I think we landed somewhere pretty cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel like it's just an extension of when you kill yourself and you randomly die by loss of foot hands. It's just an extension of that. They've just made it for when you kill other people a bit more instead of it just happening randomly. It like makes it makes sense. Like there's an action from the person doing the killing compared to the body just randomly exploding because they got poked. So That's every cool. weapon right now has a unique kill animation for enemies that you uh, that you otherwise. Lucky likes that Zingarian mercenary. Totally on them. So whenever you take someone down, I had great axes now to a point where they I miss the helicopter. They instead get suspended at one health and they stay there for about five or six seconds. Controversial um, opinion. If you don't hit them, they'll fall over. But if you restart your combo on them, it'll perform a fatality. Mm. Uh, and, and also, I can do my answer since Andy's fighting. A wolf, I should point out that they dumb. Hold on, I forgot to do my uh, attributes. Absolutely destroyed bad. again. Yep. Jeez, I'm terrible. Man, this game is rough. This game is hard. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm terrible at this game. Hold on. Yes. I forgot to set my attributes on zero and everything. So <laughs> you were so, wearing uh, some uh, armor. Uh, fighting, uh, fighting uh, chomped in half. Um, I'll point out that it only affects humans and mm -hmm. only affects NPCs. So you can't perform a fatality. On that sucks. That would have been kind of cool if it affected PvP players because that would be kind of cool and interesting. But other players. Um, but if you take an NPC down to the point where you would have killed them and they're human, they might enter a sort of day state. And during that day state, if you attack them again from the start, so you can't do it mid combo, uh, you'll perform that fatality animation. You'll get a big chunk of health back. You'll get some stamina back and you'll get a damage buff that lingers for a while. I think it's about a minute or so. Um, okay. So that's probably a good thing that they didn't add that into PvP. Yeah. It's okay. Bloody. It's cool and bloody. It is cool and bloody. They yeah, really couldn't so figure out how to balance it. Yeah, it is, is the more fun part. Uh, Say. Okay, let's see if I can do this again. Maybe he's back for blood. Yep, and I'm gonna get bloody. Let's go. Uh, oh, God mode's right there, Andy. Oh yeah, I'm trying to do it like semi legit at the moment. Totally I know, I know. I'm sure. I'm sure. All right, all right. Let's let's make this dude's head roll. This is also a chance to happen when they die. Um, so oh, it's not gonna be right guaranteed the to kill every time. And like I said, one of the benefits to this kind of way of doing the fatalities is that if you're in the middle of a combo where you're hitting a bunch of guys, like you want to do wide sweeps and hit more than one enemy, you can just opt out of it. You can just keep doing the fate. You can just keep doing the combo, skip the fatality, keep fighting normally. And if they do enter that, oh, state, good. that day state, uh, that was another concern. Trying to get the fatality. They said all that through. So whenever the fate, sorry, oh, oh yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. Could we say one of these? Could be damaged during the finisher, but no, once the fatality animation starts, you basically are given immunity during that animation. And whenever you reach a certain point, that axe um, looks sick. Longer immune. Oh, I didn't get the thing off, dang. These guys are too much. Let me kill you! Please. All right. That's how I feel. There we go. Wait, you let me do it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, jumping. There goes his head. And then every weapon type gets their own. Unit. Unless uh, you have a bit of a buff like a from, um, roll. debuff rather. Very juicy. Very chunky. Uh, mm -hmm. Havoc and Malice. Oh, what? Do Havoc and Malice. Oh. He said that like that was like the best weapon in the world. It's just two-handed, swordy, axe, daggery guys. I guess it has a cool finisher specific to two-handed, daggery, axe, sword guys. He was way too keen for them though, considering how shit they are, but continue. We'll be the dudes to rend. Nope, they're only for melee weapons. Clear this. Clear this. Mob real quick. Oh dang. What the dog doing? I'm sorry. That was cool. Oh, and then I get a little fatality buff. You can see in the top right corner, or top left corner. Dink, dink. All right. So each weapon has its own unique fatality animation, you're saying? Yep, each oh, weapon yeah. type. So, you know, two-handed sword gets one, one-handed sword, axes, maces. Ooh, uh, katana? Awesome. Yep, katana. Oh yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> and then, um... I don't feel like old, mate. Because I think a, a long time ago we wanted to do, like, a, like a pet emotes. I can't promise anything, but I think... I wanted to say those kinds of things are, like, kind of contingent on parody emotes, which is, like, fatalities, I guess. Or... It's not that direct. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> but 
you know, yeah. I legitimately forget that I can make my scrolls seem right all of the time. That is not an aspect of the game I ever remember to use, although it is a cool one and certainly handy in roleplay and PV aspects. I um should actually move, use it more because I do like building little villages and cool shit in this game, and I always wanted them to have stuff like that. It just took them so long to actually add any of it. I forget it exists now. <laughs> Applications cross be similar. Yeah, that's my, that's my personal wish list thing. Give me, let me pet the dog, please. Yes, please, please. Let me pet the dog, please, please. No. Please, please. <laughs> His millennial is showing really hard. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the mine isn't always. All right. Either so unconscious we dudes. We got bloody stuff. Uh oh. Uh, one of the other overhauls that we're doing, we'll get to the UI stuff in a minute, but I know there was some new inventory UI stuff that some people saw, but we also have some new follower UI or, you know, follower like functionality in general. That My face is so overhaul. skeptical yeah, looking. Well. Can, you, can you give us more like any insight on how that kind of mm -hmm. stuff works? Yeah. As soon as you have a follower, it'll become pretty clear as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> uh, but we took, we knew we were doing UI updates during this update. I think of that. And we decided that there was a lot of follower stuff we wanted to address as well. And like responsiveness of your followers is one of the big ones. Yeah. So now if you, if you interact with a follower, uh, I legitimately don't even use followers half the time because they just don't do what they're fucking told. Yes, they've improved that immensely compared to them initially just not even having HP. And then they introduced the ability to them to have HP, but they could be damaged outside of PvP hours. So that was fun. Um, You can kite stuff to kill them, even if they're protecting bases. They don't do a great job of protecting bases. Then they released leveling. So you could restat them as well. Now with sorcery and the potions of rebirth if you don't happen to get stats you like in that effort ass leveling most of the time they die to some bullshit though once they get to level 20 they won't listen they like come with me and they're like no i gotta kill this thing even though i'm 5 hp i'm like fucking run and they're like nah brah and then that's awesome every time so i just don't <laughs> you get this ui and oh, little word. that's Instead fun i mean interact with them and hold down a radial wheel to change their tactics and everything but yeah i don't do that one sheet right here and you can just go through sometimes i remember to make them, them to behave so you defensive can... because i'll always do that because it's annoying running into Sepi Maru after doing the Chapel Sark dungeon and then everyone starts getting ganked and then you get ganked. They're all picked a oh, fight oh, they oh, couldn't oh, catch. You should attack things or chase things away. Yeah, it's a lot more granular than I, I recall from the radio menus as well. It's, yeah, it's it, really it cool is. you can like set all that stuff like on your own. Like and usually I like a radial that, menu, but... Of course have memory. So you can set a guard to be defensive and stay you know, in the spot that you put them if they're not following you anymore. But when they're following you, if you want them to be aggressive, they can... That's super handy too, because when they weren't following you anymore, if they were base defense dudes and you had them on defend me, unless something in your base was like, like you were attacked or something, they would just stand there and let your base get blown up and attacked. You know, go out and attack everything that you... That, you see so uh and and you know if you if you make them fall thrall uh, the thrall follow you before it would wipe the behavior and set it to a specific one and then you put them back in the mm -hmm. world and it goes back to your default now it just remains what you set it to um there's also updates to the actual radio that's also not what happened you, you use with them um so if any can if you can uh hold down e now to see the wheel um the wheel itself uses this kind of built-in navigation so you don't have to find your cursor on the screen and click on a little button you get a a much more grounded uh radial selection so it's just like a controller across the game as well it's literally a controller and selection because commands if you can go back to the commands you can see i played on playstation for years before pc um this they game. can do so the one that's go here that's contextualized that's the one that's also like you know you can also attack things mm. If you can back off and just look at the actual commands again, then we've got the uh, sorry, oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, radio wheel away from him. Oh, oh my bad, my bad. Right, right, right. So you can see there's the the flee. Uh, sorry, there's go here, defend here, and flee. Um, go here, I believe, is the one that's contextualized, so it will change to attack if you if you were looking at something, um, or at least the regular command does if you just look at something and interact. Um, flee will cause the follower to try to disengage and return to you. So before, if you remember trying to use the return command, uh, they would wait like two seconds and then start to run towards you and then get distracted or hit by something, uh, or you press the button again and it resets the behavior, and none of that stuff happens anymore so now if you say flee come you know saying come back to me they're going to get away from what they're fighting yeah it will be the same on consoles as well i should hope so because that would be weird to not do that so the other thing that you can't see but you will feel whenever you get this update is that this radial menu pops up really fast and you can cue the input for uh what you wanted to do so andy can tell it to you know it, it's that's it's nice like it is pretty slow comparison like using the ping system in apex where you hold the button down and you know it's coming up so you move in the right direction and as soon as you let go it does that attack so it's incredibly snappy compared to the way it was before and it doesn't require an in Thank God. input to validate the action it'll just validate on release just like that yeah so yeah, i'm holding it down and then I, all i do is just like kind of gesture towards the the direction that i want with the mouse yeah and this is just on mouse and keyboard it's pretty it's reasonably responsive like i like it and yeah. i'm not much of a console like gamepad user myself but i imagine it's also extremely i mean 
literally early how it is on fucking controller. You can also use the old commands. Um, so if you just want to, you know, use interact to tell them to attack or, or come back. I think that we did change the order of what a lot of people might not even know this exists, but if you single tap interact versus double tap versus triple tap, it'll do different things. And I think we did change it. So it, it used to be that move was part of that. And that's not there. And you think that single tap is go or attack and double mm -hmm. tap is return. Mm. Um, and there's still a triple tap command. They sure don't return though. Return, so, you know, you, you can experiment with it really quickly and see exactly which commands do which. For me, I'm it's, I'm just all about attack and return, personally. Yeah, flee. Okay, so if you triple tap, it does flee. They don't. Fowler, can I move there? Please, please, you're drunk. Dragon Pirate Pirate. Or dragon... And, yeah, they do it if there's no one around for them to fight, sure. To me. That's cool. I really like these shortcuts. So if I have two followers, for example, if I have like max authority and stuff like that, do both um, do both uh, follow those orders at the same time? Like if I triple tap, do both my followers come back to me? Yeah, just like, like it would have been before. They gotcha. follow the same order. Cool, cool. I turned it to daytime because it is dark. It's impossible to see the screen yeah, right yeah. now. <laughs> Sorry about that. So sweet, yeah. Uh, you know, these kinds of like quality of life things are generally. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I, I guess it's also worth mentioning like the equipment panel over there on the other side got, got some love as well. Mm -hmm. too. Oh, that's all changed so, around. That used to be in the yeah, middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's stats right on that page. And then that was over that. Oh, yeah. And there's a tip. You can just take all of them. All right, cool. Thanks. Okay, great. So hopefully, folks who are really into controlling encounters, uh, mostly focused on like high level purges. Oh, that's exciting. Because so the purges. Four new encounters. If so, so. We've got a wave of thieves that will come in and. The, we, the thieves are cloaked by the invisibility spell. They'll try to sneak past everybody, unlock your doors, and go straight to the treasure to pick it up and carry it out. If you don't have a separate base for your purges, you was a fool. Just saying. Um, there are champion enemies that essentially have a kind of like a an entourage that comes with them. This is uh, not gonna make it any harder. Your your normal I can guarantee you. Uh, enemies and they they move in formations. So when you see it, it'll stand out. It's pretty cool. Um, we have a golem wave. There's actually a couple golem waves, but one of them is is uh, jarhead golems that will come as kind of a siege mechanic Ooh, to try to blow your screen wolves. left. Not and me, that's them. There's also a really cool wave with a sorcerer that spawns, and you can see there. Yeah, so here's some, some uh, those look like jarhead golems. Uh, there's a glare on the screen, so it's a little hard to see. Send me off for a second uh, so you can actually so they'll, see. They'll come in and try to blow your walls up. And then the last wave that we have. That's kind of cool. That Implementing the, stuff the that they've put into the game. Begin to summon a meteor from the, the sky and rain meteor. And if I can actually harvest, there I am. If I can actually harvest blood crystal from these golems, because not being able to harvest anything from the purges is super annoying, apart from zeal and hide. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, the, the meteors can be harvested. There are different types of meteors in there. Impressive. They yeah. seem to stop as well. Uh, you're not guaranteed to just be smashed by meteors because they're there. So it's a it's handy. keep an eye out for. So is this a uh, is this meteor guy? All, is this whole casting animation like a callback to spell weaving from Age of Conan? <laughs> Uh, not directly. Mm. It, it is it is really intentionally meant to draw your eye, so it's a oh, lot yeah. harder to miss because the destruction will be pretty pretty massive. So this is a, yeah, this is a video. Okay, that yeah. So in, uh, in the introduction, and yeah, this is the meteor base. <laughs> that's gonna wreck a base. <laughs> you don't want to be having a purge at your main base yeah. for sure. For sure, that's cool though. I like that. They, they better add, never add that to sorcery <laughs> and rating. Yeah, it, tell it's you what. Mechanic. Yeah, yeah. I believe it's nine and ten. I like the little pyres on top of the castle. That's kind of cool. It's yeah. raining men. Yeah. Raining golems. Yeah, so so there are some golems, you know, making contact with the walls. And they're exploding. And more, you can expect with mm, high level. The commentary is almost as good as mine. And then also, something you may have seen from the intro as well, is a new siege weapon, the ballista. Oh, there we go, exploding everywhere. Very good. That's why we need more yeah, things to be able to make PvP more difficult, but actually is ever so slightly useful in PvE for their uh, one raid. Go over here. Hope. So the Ballista. Ballista is a brand new uh, siege uh, structure that players can build. Uh, it is... They straight up just need to change bombs. They need to make them harder to get because they're far too easy to acquire all of the bombs. Do much less damage. Be harder to place. I shouldn't be able to stand 45 fucking years away and place it over there. That's dumb. There should be a placement animation. Like that comes from someone who loves raiding. Focus on that shit. Don't add like blisters. Uh, it requires okay. a trebuchet base, I believe. That will be fine. On top of it, you, of course, can... I have been wanting them to do there. more shit like this, too. Battering rams. There's like, make a rhino of battering ram. Uh, you've got your siege foundation, and now there's a siege weapon base. Oh, gotcha, okay. So, you build either... Once you if they don't say that this is the same base for both of them, I will be annoyed. You place the weapon base oh. down, you can build up either a, a ballista or a trebuchet from that. Good. Um, ballista unlocks a little bit earlier. Uh, I believe it's 10 levels later. Uh, the engineer feat is a prerequisite, so you'll have to know how to make those trebuchets to begin with mm -hmm. to be able to make it. It's pretty fun. Uh, so yeah, like Andy's showing now, you can literally jump into it and pilot it, aim it around. It's a lot easier to hit targets with than the ballista is. It has a little bit different. He meant to say trebuchet. He has dyslexia. I'm assuming just because he's really good at speaking like myself and I have rampant dyslexia. So I don't mean to diagnose. <laughs> you could just be dumb. 
I don't know. I'm also a little bit dumb. Oh, sorry, the trebuchet will deal a lot of you know splash damage, hit a lot of stuff over a big area, and the ballista is a lot more focused. So you can see uh, you can the inventory of what can be crafted right now, and there are balls and bolts, and the bolts are really anti-personnel. They're very very strong against people and uh, other wildlife, you know, monsters. And the bolts are are, are sorry, the balls are really a uh, siege device. So if you want to knock down some doors or walls, you want to use the balls instead. The other hidden functionality of the ballista is that it absolutely annihilates avatars. So a star metal bolt. Uh, with if you didn't know, avatars already take damage from arrows. Every arrow they are shot with, it takes down a second or so. So yeah, a ballista is going to do a bunch more like an arrow. Like explosive arrows will do more than a regular arrow as well, I do believe. With a full charge. Although they've changed gods so much recently, it's a bit hard to know. On the ballista, like Andy's charging it up right now, which increases the range and damage. <laughs> Who's using avatars on PvE against each other? That this would be handy. Be loaded up and just take them out as the avatars come up as it is. avatar defense. Your present. Yeah, that's handy. Um, but yeah, now that he's piloting it, he just has to hold down right mouse. Uh, you know. You can also anti avatar with trebuchets. It's just a lot harder to hit because that mm -hmm. heavy attack to usually on your base. It's, it's, it's uh, memory over you know the duration of the charge. So if you let go halfway, it might scoot forward a little bit, but it, you'll hear a notch yeah, click yeah. and it'll, it'll oh. lock in. I guess. Uh, and then just fire, just normal attack to fire it. So yeah, I'm just holding down right mouse button, and then presumably yeah, like when these guys need to get on with it. Okay, that wall is sick. Okay, yeah, and then yeah, I see some people in chat asking like, hey, can we see some stuff in the season pass? Can we see some of the stuff in the space? We will get to that. Sorry, there's still there's still a couple <laughs> things we wanted to get to yeah. gameplay wise before we. Start I haven't even tried so building house a lot. Like, like if that's different um, to the dungeon stuff, so, okay, we got, we got this it looks a bit idea. different. Next up, we uh, if you were watching towards the beginning of the stream, you saw some what appears to be some changes with the uh, player menu and inventory management. So now you want to jump into talking about what actually these are. Yeah. It, Imagine if I was watching this in normal space. Everything. Mm -hmm. So if you want to experience it, you know, wait for the update or check out the, the public beta because it's all there mm -hmm. as of yesterday, as Andy said. A lot of this started as friction that we had in playtests with like just trying to manipulate stuff in our inventory easily. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of the time with gamepad, like we try to split our time between mouse and keyboard and controllers so we can see what it's like on both no, you don't. and on controller. It was Penis. Really Penis on controller. Benefit both. And some of the biggest stuff is like the, the functionality of buttons across the bottom of the screen is standardized now. Before the building hammer i know it's not the most popular thing i love the building hammer because trying to find anything in your inventory with a controller because there isn't a search that well there might be now but there wasn't for years you just had to scroll down through everything you just you could barely turn anything off it was insane so if there's an input or action for an item type that button's always in the same place it doesn't really just like disappear uh, you know we've got a placeholder nice. for things that we don't have an action but it should be much less confusing like what an item actually can do when you select it in your inventory we change like stacks i would prefer if it just made them go away so i could just find that without having to have the search splitting uh, and, the, and the fastest way to split buttons across the bottom of the screen is standardized now so if there's an input or action for an item type that button's always in the same place it doesn't really just like disappear uh, you know we've got a placeholder for things that we don't have an action but it should be much less confusing like what an item actually can do when you select it in your inventory um we change like stack splitting uh, and, the, and the fastest way to split stuff is literally wasn't able to go back to the correct spot so, this um, is handy we find that most of the time when we're splitting stuff we're not trying to get pull one out of the stack we're trying to get to a you know a, a lesser number of what is usually a stack of hundreds or thousands so it's much faster to split and move items now that is nice uh, one of the super coolest things is a quick and have you used shift so slip the, i don't know if you want to place down a um i don't but what is that sorry <laughs> a container if you can open oh, any, okay. can, any container or a crafting station whatever anything that has an inventory we, we added a thing called quick stack which means it will take anything from your inventory that's already in a container and move the rest of them in so no no they didn't no they didn't oh no they didn't that's so goddamn handy there's a whole last mod called pickup plus that does that that also adds a whole bunch of other stuff like bearers put stuff away for you which is cool you just dump shit in their inventory and they put it away as long as there's something in a box this is fun though for base game sorting is heinous in this game they didn't even have a sort type in boxes for the longest either i had a friend who was manually sorting vaults because she didn't notice that that got added in changed lives man i have people who just use the daddy boxes so they can dump all because it adds just those things like just fiber to the fiber box this is exciting let's move one of those five stacks of iron bars over and a stack of the the uh, shaped wood um you see there's a button on the bottom of his inventory called quick stack if he clicks that it'll move all the iron and shaped wood from his inventory into the uh where's give all well it, it should would. it should move it all into there yep. of course it doesn't work not, not finished yet but that's the intent yeah, sorry we're on, we're on a beta build oh rip uh, try actually just try with a regular container because i, I kind of wonder maybe the bench if it's yeah. Just a bench. yeah yeah it might be because it's a dismantling bench <laughs> yeah that's bad of course i didn't 
pick a container and I picked the, the most, like one of the weirder ones. Let's see. Just a box, man. Just pick a fucking box. Just a box. Just place a box. Press R. Okay. Pressing R right helps. Can they play their game? Okay. Do I need to make guides for these guys? There we go. <laughs> so that makes moving stuff into containers a lot easier. Um, makes me happy chappy. That's really cool. I really like that. Yeah. Yeah. And you oh. see it changes. Because I can imagine control. they spent all their time. You actually want to move everything. You can move. Sorting around the base. They definitely dedicate time with that. I really there, like there's, that. Yeah. There's so much goes <laughs> in this one. Item filters. He um, really likes. Items is a lot different now. Um, if you could just like. Literally just going to be me in boxes. Go back into the admin panel and sorry to ask you for more stuff, but give yourself like some random stuff. Weapons, armors, you know, building. You have to give him more direction than this. Have we not seen? He's going to spawn in the randomest crap. You got. It's on your action bar. Okay. Yeah. Stick it in your inventory and then. Um, so we changed the way filtering and sorting works. And if you go up to the type bar up there for sorting, um, whenever he selects like heaviest first, for instance, you'll see it'll resort everything like it would have normally. Um, if you go back to, no sorting, like that? it'll actually keep that sorting. Mm. So you don't, you don't lose the sorting that's there. And now, you um, I can imagine that's not going to go down well, because before if you had it in custom, it would stay that way. And then you could sort it to heaviest quickly and then go back to custom. And it would be like that, which is handy when I'm filming videos, because I sort stuff out in little categories but occasionally then also need to sort to heaviest to dump stuff. Why the fuck that needed to change? They did, they haven't even, I suppose I haven't really heard them out, but it'd be nice if it, there was a button where we could combine all the stuff in the inventory. See how there's stacks of seeds over here? If they all can bound when I changed those menus, that could be kind of handy, but they don't. They might, we'll see. I'll stop digressing. You can move stuff around within that that uh, filter that you previously chose. And then is it going to revert back? And everything's sorted by type is like really logically thought out now. And so but it doesn't the, combine them. Uh, Combine them. A mishmash of, of what? Order. Combine the shit. We try to sort things. So you can see Andy's got uh, in his inventory. I don't want to have my type. He's got all like the. As a loot goblin, one of my worst things in this game is not weight because carry capacity is not even a thing, but it's slot cappage. And having multiple stuff in your inventory, multiple different files, because say you've crafted something from your inventory and it's used random amounts from different stacks. However, it ends up happening. It's incredibly annoying and it needs to not happen. And I need a way to combine it. Make that a thing. Uh, like a lot of the raw crafting, like plant stuff up top. And then he's got all the bees and then all the, the weapons. All, it's all just grouped together, basically. And then the buttons are dynamic as well. So you can see he has four item filters at the top up now. Uh, it's based on the stuff that's actually in his inventory. So you can turn those on and off Ooh. just to get a, a finer view of what exactly is actually in your inventory. Oh, no time my armor is a consumable. I'm just mm -hmm. Technically true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> People are tools. <laughs> I'm a fool. I've never used this function that already existed in this game. I'm glad they improved upon it. Uh, oh, then on the you. other panel, we've got the whole other panel over there as well too, where if you just click on one of the recipes, you can see um, hopefully more clearly what it takes to actually make that item is like one of the main the main goals there. So we try to communicate the inventory about the selection uh, a little bit better and what it takes to make it a little bit better as well. Yeah, it's great to see just like all the requirements just right there and take some of the guesswork out. Okay. I think I've accidentally crafted like one thing like okay. that. Yeah, hopefully I'm not forgetting anything major, but there is a lot to it. Oh, travel bag. I have a treasure bag. That's something. There's, some, there's so much to cover here. True whacker eradication is just like, no, no, talk about the thing. Uh, okay, so that's quality of life stuff. Uh, I actually think that covers all the gameplay stuff going on, maybe? Unless there's more stuff that you want to show off to. That's what I had on my note. Oh, yeah. So there's that. You know, when we did the last patch, um, there was a lot of uproar about not being automatically, like your character not automatically facing when you're rotating or when you're attacking. Right. So if you just come into the gameplay options and turn on that auto face. It's not that hard to just look. Follow your cursor like it did in uh, chapter 2-2. Two, two. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I like that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Old man didn't. Okay, whatever. Thanks, Dad. That's crazy. Oh, that <laughs> Thanks for listening. It's amazing. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. I, I know this was like a like really hot topic with folks, um, you know, after chapter three launched. Uh, and so, you know, we... because they don't actually listen to us prior to doing shit. They just implement random fucking stuff and go, oh, we thought maybe you'd like it, but we didn't listen to the feedback that was already there and implement the stuff that we maybe could implement. Instead, we change random stuff that's wildly unpopular and then have to spend time and effort to make changes to that. Make it make sense. Working, working on making things good. Like, you know, at the end of the day, we want to make a game that's fun to play. So at the end of five years. They want to make a fun game that's fun to play. So let's use that. Maybe it should be uh, less think, bitter. Hold on. I think we're still so, making stamina a tiny bit. I know I said that. I'm really not. I did ask about <laughs> magnetic foes. It's funny. Um, I went through a True. number of enemies in the game and, and fixed their rotation so they shouldn't be as magnetic. I didn't do every enemy in the game. So there may be some that we that are still too hard or not. Um, to give Is he the soul dev or something? 
then is he the only one who does anything to this game? And is that why this is the way it is? Am I having an epiphany right now? You guys a baseline. We actually pulled data for enemies that had a significantly higher kill death ratio than they did before the patch. And I hit um, a combination of those enemies that were, you know, really egregious and the ones that are involved in the event as well. So we can be sure that this This has nothing to do with the video, but my cat just farted and it's fucked. Continuing. So during this update, we'll have the most uh, forgiving rotation. And if there's other stuff that you see that feels like a problem to you, just report it to us and, you know, we can take a look. It doesn't take terribly long to make the adjustments, uh, but as always, it's bound to- So our much our cute. Our so much stinky. We want something adjusted or think that it should be, you know, we can assess if we, if we agree and it'll come out in an update. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. See how we can fit it into our schedule because we're always working on like stuff and, you know, the people that would fix stuff is also working on new stuff. So it's, you know, it's just a matter of like juggling and allocating resources properly. Yeah. Someone yeah. asked, what's the- This one guy does players? everything. I don't have the one that kills the most players, but the one that had the highest increase, I believe- 100% it was the arena champion. If he doesn't know that, that's crazy. Was the imp king that went up like 300% or something <laughs> like that. Um, his charge attack was absolutely bananas like he could spin in circles and, and chase people with it <laughs> no imp king hell yeah. yeah and you know coupled with the fact that he's probably fighting people that are naked and maybe haven't played the game before mm -hmm. you know it, mm -hmm. it's easy to understand and i think uh what is it i think in addition to some of the stuff we're, we're making a couple <laughs> tweaks to stamina recharge rates or something i'm not really sure I'll yeah it's, i know we tested some of that it's actually pretty minor um i don't it might even stop messing with stamina just make it go back to how it was and if anything make it so you cannot roll in heavy i don't mind that I knew if I used heavy, I would scoot backwards. That was fine. It was the thing I accepted. If I wanted to roll and get away more, I wore medium or light. Why did that need to change? But anyway, most people played when you could roll in heavy anyway. And if you roll too many, you just didn't have stamina for a minute. It wasn't actually a minute, but it felt like forever. That just enabled you to balance your consumption a little bit better and someone like me who's terrible at stamina consumption didn't even mind it. Why did that need to change? Sure, let's spend more time, effort, and resources rebalancing that. Let's see how they fixed their problem. It's going to be hard to notice if, if people are watching, but if you exit creative mode... Um, that helps. So there's, there's oh, kind of two things. Stamina. Yeah, yeah, you'll want to do that. Um, there's there's two things. Um, the first is that rolling thrust had the stamina bonus oh. removed. So I don't have roll balance, sorry. Yeah, well, that just ruined everyone. You're rolling thrust now, you'll still get a penetration buff, but you won't get a stamina reduction on the next attack. And the other thing... Um, stamina reduction, it used no stamina. It's perceptible, but I think it's it's generally hard to tell, is that stamina doesn't regenerate in 0.1 seconds after you start, or after you spend it or deplete it now. It waits one full second. So technically it's 10 times longer, uh, but, uh, or, you know, but it, it's it's a very brief when you actually time. Play it, yeah. <laughs> it's in, still in, a, in practice, it's a lot more. It's, it's, it's still a thousand percent quicker than what it used to be. One of those things that you look at the numbers and the patch notes and you're like, that's an insane difference, you know, but. It, but you didn't look at it the first time you did it. Okay. When you play it, you know, you can feel it. There, It does feel like there's a little more grit in combat there's a little bit more if you say so or wait yeah there, there's a little bit more uh commitment to what your actions are is that but uh it comes back very fast still and the big thing <laughs> thing and the best thing about this uh is that it, it was specifically to find a natural way to prevent infinite roll spamming so you can still roll forever i'm sorry did they just say that in one sentence we were trying to find a way to prevent infinite roll spamming that we introduced by taking away the scoot back in heavy armor and changing rolling in general um so we gave you more stamina and the ability to roll better and regen that stamina in heavy for some fucking reason even though not a single person asked for that except for someone who's playing pve against bosses they can't be bothered managing their stamina and now the game's crazy to play because stamina might as well not really exist except for climbing and now they want to get rid of the roll glitch that they literally went out of their way to implement although back in the day you used to be able to get naked when you were fully incumbent and just roll 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 you don't do that anymore in there's that cases, you'll be forced <laughs> to wait that that you know whatever one seconds plus the time to regenerate the stamina back because you know you've gone to that's what we used to have to do to regenerate you can't see and then you need to add that second on top of it as well oh no not the second you can still roll a lot, but you can't roll forever uh, with no break. And when it comes to balancing that break, like we're, we're really on the edge of a knife here. If we make it too long, it will be a problem for a lot of people. If we make it too short, I mean, it's already too short. So you already see how that's a problem. So it was fine. I'm trying to just nudge it in the right direction instead of making it you know, swing too far one way or the other. 
why not listen to the people who do the most fighting about how to implement fighting stuff in the game? It's well and good that you all want to listen to role players and PvE players. No hate, I enjoy a lot of those aspects on the game also. When you listen to their opinions about the building textures and the random cosmetics you want to add. But for certain things like damage and armor and fighting in general, people who test that relentlessly might be people you want to listen to. Fucking just saying. People are writing, they want to see that dog. The dog, they want to see the big, the dorg? Yeah. Arr. It's a good dog. It is a good dog. Stressful. Good dog. One of the best we've made, I think. And he's lost. I am lost. <laughs> I'm always, you know, I, I, you know, just because I'm wandering doesn't mean I'm lost. <clears throat> Just finding myself, thank you. They no. need to be watching my guides, oh, just saying. Like, well, I'd help out. <laughs> it's you. Yeah. It's you. You're the imp queen. Slay. It's a dog. I'm the imp queen. Thank you. This is one of the one of the new pets. Pet Can I pet the dog? Unfortunately, you can't pet the dog. He's a cool dog, though. I like him. Can I make a follow me? Follow me, please. So yeah, Zingari and Dark Guard Dog. Uh, so yeah, let's... Maybe you can't pet the dog. ...in the Bazaar and the Battle Pass. So we saw some of the tableaus, but here's a preview of some of the new items that are coming by. Zingari Mercenary Armor is the rank 1 reward for the Chapter 4 Battle Pass. He looks uh, stumpy. Oops. Well, that's what I was wearing, but you can't see me because I turned myself invisible, but... Yeah, we have a general theme for Battle Passes, usually, and this one is Zingarin, mm -hmm. um, you know, which is kind of uh, mm -hmm. historically Spanish-themed. Yeah, I saw some people in chat saying, like, oh, it's like, like Conquistador Armor or something yeah. like that. It's like, yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Everything Howard wrote is basically based on all of his cultures having a, a real-world analog. Uh, for the most part. Yeah. Yeah, the rapier is really cool. Mm -hmm. I, it's one that, like, I was hesitant to add a rapier for the like, Oh, that could be an entire weapon type. Uh, but as time goes on, and not to be you know, confused with Sumerians. Types and animations, it's just more, it makes more sense to give cool weapon skins. Mm -hmm. And if we ever add them, we can just convert it. People love yes. them poking swords. Pokey, pokey, mate. I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. Epi, Epi, the not play the rapier, but it's another, like, mm. pokey sword. It's featured prominently in many Souls games. I'm also just very EP all the time. It just works. <laughs> Big EP. <laughs> Big EP. That's me all the time, forever. So I won't go into all the Battle Pass stuff because you can, you guys will be able to see. Um, oh, it's cool. Around, but a preview of things to come. Lots of Zingarian stuff. I also wish that in like the bazaar specifically that they had a bit more of a detail of what an item provided. Again, from a PvP perspective, they'd get a lot more people probably buy stuff if they could actually see what the thing would do. Like some of the stuff, is it a cosmetic or is it actually a little mini bench? The thrill cage doesn't tell you it's a thrill cage and then all of a sudden you have a tiny one person little thrill cage instead of a giant will for one person so that would be cool like i still don't know if that little grinder does grinding and i don't want to spend 20 dollars on a little grinder to find out also it annoys me that then other people can't like pick up that thing or use that thing if they don't have the battle pass we need to change that slightly i get like not being able to wear the armor and stuff but it does make multiplayer super hard <laughs> or just like looting people's stuff if they choose to just use all battle pass things and you're POV and don't have the battle pass or whatever, you can't touch any of that stuff that you've looted from someone's base. You can't gain any of that armor or use their weapons or anything. You've essentially just raided for the joy of destroying something and you get no loot, which a lot of people like doing anyway, but I like to get some things out of my raid. That's definitely something they could implement. A little bit more detail. Emblems. <laughs> On guard. Uh, currencies, placeables, tables. Slowly turning into Destiny 2. Good stuff. I actually do want to show the, the new Poitain armor. Oh, yeah, sure. Just because it's absolutely sick. Is it the, this? Nope. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, no, sorry. It's in Garn. It is in Garn. I love my chat. has no idea what they... yeah, yeah, yeah. I, just, I just love this like little viewport. Oh, like, yeah. hello. I have been going for so long. Just rambling. They can't figure shit out. That night suit is sick. Um, but yeah, God, I'm getting tired. So sorry if I start digressing even further. I'm being like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's time. That is a large lance. What? I'm uh, wait, super it's into that oh, night outfit. Right, <laughs> Probably a shit stance. Yeah. We need battle standard weapons like this. Is that even an outfit that already exists? Oh, I've just never worn it. Time. Probably is. Uh, when we were making the sorcery update, the uh, Katan assassin spear was like 25% too big, mm -hmm. uh, and it, it it looked like a like a soul's great weapon. Uh, it was so rad though. <laughs> I wanted to ship it like that so bad, but I, I couldn't bring myself to, of course. Runs everything good. You showed the battle. Mm -hmm. I showed some of the battle okay. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Aw, yeah. I've also never oh, gotten around with the lance. Follow. There's a capstan for this uh, set as well. For all of the lance cores they give us still in dungeon boxes, never once made one. I have used lances on PvE servers during like jousting events. Nay. I've heard they are deadly on um, in PvP, but I've never actually come across them. People just use regular weapons, especially when horses were super strong. Does what? The horse armor and capstan? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Don't tell me they're going to bring back OP oh, no, horses. That's, uh, there's, uh, there's a, that's right, I did see that one. Yeah, yeah, it has like a clan emblem on it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 I just saw it over here. 
That's right. Eh, People please. love the frog helmet. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's the best. Okay, it is near. I didn't think I'd say Napoleon. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get out of this court. Okay. Literally me every time trying to ride a horse. Also, that's why I don't ride horses. I feel you, my guy. Trust me, I'm a professional. <laughs> there. Makes me look less shit. I'm awful at this game, but that's okay. <laughs> the, 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 the point of games is to have people of all, a, a wide breadth of skill. Uh, of they should skill definitely watch my guy. What they want in this game, right? <laughs> I don't have to be, I don't have to be like a crazy APM PVPer to enjoy Conan Exiles. No, no, not the dog. No. <laughs> no. no, in fact, no. it's quite unenjoyable what? if you are a PVP to play this game. I'm just saying. Oh, buddy, are you hurt? you okay? Oh, yeah, moments. It's okay. fun. Uh, That's why we still play. Yes. So then there is also, you might see some like, it's not all fast, doom and gloom. Uh, flips of uh, the things here, but uh, <clears throat> night jousting gear. We have an onsen set, which I d didn't, I need to get a thing of real quick. Actually, just give me one second. But yeah, we got a, we got a Yamatai onsen set, which looks amazing. Let's see if I can. That will be cool. That looks cool. Yeah, I probably won't buy it though. Ah, dang. Yeah, yeah. Cool. There's a whole dungeon built you could explore. Oh, I mean, yeah. I guess actually that whole base, you know, is built with this the is parts all of the new set. Most of the new stuff, yeah. <laughs> they did not prepare for this at all. Yep, this is all the various... They do like that, that wall. Battle pass as well. I think the walls. Let's see here. Battle pass. I think like one of the yeah. earlier rewards that we just talked about. Yeah. So this is all like Zingarian wall stuff that you can get from the pass. I think we are, we're also expanding the dungeon set. Mm -hmm. yeah, so you can see That's cool. I was thinking that was new. Oh, of course. That I haven't even built with the new stuff that I've got. And then you have to go underground to see the rest. Oh, Ooh, underground things. I know uh, there's an actual door with two guys and you put a... Oh, that's right. I put the, the curios. Oh, was yeah. the main entrance? <laughs> okay, so turn around. Mm -hmm. And there's a door, that one right there. Ah. The gatehouse, I think. Hi, horse. You gonna gonna follow me down in the dungeon? He is. Oh, okay. Someone's like, I hear crying. Yeah, there's a lot of crying in the dungeon <laughs> down here. <laughs> <laughs> that better not be a thing that they just implement game wide because on the release of the Decado DLC, they decided to implement some of those new emotes like the juggling and the drunkiness and stuff. And they thought it'd be a good idea to make just all thralls do that by default before they implemented thrall emotes. And even your character would just go around spluttering, sounding sick, but then also moaning. It was highly disturbing. And if you had a lot of thralls, which we did at that time, we had a couple of hundred because there was no thrall gap and we were psychos. Um, I couldn't be in my base. I took them too long to fix it. Hopefully not. This is actually. Or I could turn it off. That'd yeah, be cool. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is actually. I live in fear. Yeah, actually, my room. This is a recreation of my my <laughs> office currently. I just have I just have these palaces Same. around my uh my computer, keep me in check. Got my blinders on. My my, my pink argyle uh, stockades. God. You have a dog and a horse following you through the dungeon. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wait till you guys see what he has to squeeze into next. Oh my. Oh. Oh. So here's another part of the expanded set. Ooh, tunnel. Uh, yes, hello. Uh, <laughs> hello, we would like to order port with cistern, so you can make a, a sewer. There's some some spider webs you can decorate with, cobwebs. Uh, That's We've got uh, various cool. to build underground sewers as well. So but can you, you can't actually go underground. Recreate everyone's favorite. Make cool tunnels. That's areas. sick. Oh, well, we didn't add a bite down set yet. I love, I, swap me, uh, poison yeah. Yeah. I just wish it was a whole DLC <laughs> oh God, and I didn't have to pay like a hundred dollars. Yeah, let's see. Wait. Oh, yeah. You know? Cool. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of cool. I, yeah, like I said, I just wish all of these were just not money grabs and they were whole DLCs that were pre-thought, like what we used to get instead of having to buy the armor and the weapons and all of that separately for $10, $20 each. We just bought a whole DLC in the past and they could have easily done that and just never had a battle pass and just gave us free emotes every update and they still would have had people buy the DLCs. It, it didn't need to change. It didn't make people FOMO more and play the game. I literally forget all the time. I'm like, oh shit, better do my battle pass like last minute because it's super easy. <laughs> Actually, I put that in there during a tour and I forgot about it. <laughs> but yeah, we made a sarcophagus you can open and you can get in and out of it. But you can, you can also put thralls in it. So um, I, I think it might have been... Uh, can you sleep in uh, it? Someone asked if, if you could put a, a zombie in it. So we did. That's funny. Wait, can I get in? Yeah, you might have to move a little bit because you need to look inside. Oh. Because right now you're just looking at the door. I see. Then, eh. Well, am I too thick? Oh. Yeah. And then if you interact again, it should shut the lid. I'm hiding from my horse. <laughs> That's yeah, actually kind of dope. Yeah, at all times. I can see a lot of games being oh, had oh, on oh, PV yeah, service with that. More new stuff from studio themed placeables. Well, we need more thrones. Yeah, let's be real. Okay. Bye, horse. Oh. Spider. spider pet, some, mm -hmm. Yeah, here's the spider decorated room. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. Content, content cool. warning. I'm <laughs> Sorry. So, we really like spiders. Yeah. 
spiders, cobwebs, the corpses hanging from the ceiling. Oh my god, this is actually a sewer maze. I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, you won't find out. Ah, uh, you won't. I think you saw the, uh, oh, this is, oh, hi, guys. I think you saw the main stuff, though. With the, uh, now he'll see he can't get past anything, and that's a fun fact that they've never yeah, fixed yeah, particularly. That and plenty more. I, tell you, I, think that's... I love that they experienced dopiness of their own game, and they're still just like, they just brush past it, like, it ain't a thing we all deal with all the time. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. That's fine, my to match the uh, sewer set. Lost dungeon ladder, yeah. Oh, wait, okay, they didn't remove that. Gungle. All right, gosh, that's a lot. Okay, uh, and then- That's noisy. Come on, are there other, what are, <laughs> any other good uh, outfits that you remember? Let's see. Oh yeah, and then we have some, uh, like, remix of some uh, some of the original, like, one of the original, like, demon, like, it's like the fake demon set or something like that, I forget. But yeah, we have we have some variants of uh, some classic stuff coming back, and then I think actually in the bazaar right now, a bunch of, a bunch of stuff is being rotated back from the beginning of the chapter as well, so if you missed out on something. A bunch of, a bunch of older stuff should be coming back uh, for the rest of the season oh, as well. Did miss I missed out on the pyramids, oh, and I actually want that. Sorry. Yeah, 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 with the, with the changes to the progression and all that, or like yeah. the, yeah. Interested in that. Yeah, um, should we just jump into that? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah. Uh, so, get on with it. I'm getting tired. The challenges are changing. Um, <laughs> oh, very much so. As it stands now, it's pretty hard to interact with. Uh, not a lot of people. No, I just go to there, single player. Probably. So, I'm we've mind. made some changes to the way battle pass progression and challenges work. Easy. Challenges are just weekly sets of challenges. So you'll get three, and that's it. Whenever you complete one, it'll give you 2,500 um, battle pass XP. So you'll get two and a half unlocks. And you don't have to come to this screen to claim it. So if you were to just happen to defeat a demonic animal, which is like one of the uh, like alpha kind of like rare spawns that happen when you farm a population down, like uh, they're, they're probably not called demonic. It mm. would be like the like the alpha hyena, you know, with um, the gotcha. If you kill one of those, it'll just complete the challenge and you'll just get unlocks right there. Um, <laughs> we'll also make it so so any the, the stuff that you do standard that earns you XP in the game, like killing and harvesting and crafting just doing that will get you probably just gonna go kill demonic spiders one, one map but it's really quick and if you just sit down and play like an hour or two you're gonna get a, a handful of unlocks in that time i just fun and stuff and kill it uh, they're, they're a little bit more they're probably a little more time consuming now than they were before we, there's only three, we want them to be a little bit more difficult to complete but paired with being you know really natural it's not there just makes me do shit i don't want to do still use a lot more and we think that a lot more people will be able to finish the battle pass a lot more naturally now just because all you have to it should be more naturally progression since stuff and stuff like five crocs why not just five legends Legendary creatures, because that's shit people are going around and doing. Sure, eventually you will kill five crocs, because they're one of the easiest ones to kill for keys for sure. But just, uh, just play the game. I, can't, I don't even have comment. The other, I think there's one other thing with the it's a harder difficulty than. <laughs> huh? So someone's asking if there's like if there could be a new difficulty level for Conan Exiles because barbaric is too easy. Yeah. Not, they didn't say that bit, but they're glutton. It is, though. Yeah, I see. That's where server settings Crom's own, yeah. Glutton for punishment makes this game oh, so oh, easy. Oh, 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 make all the characters yeah. plus a thousand percent damage. Yeah, yeah. Settings. Just give them all guns. Complete one die, and you've got to recreate your character. Permadeath mode. Oh, yeah, that's not what I'm thinking of. That'd be sick. Have that we don't anymore is the Blitz, the Blitz servers. servers which yeah. Oh, monthly. yeah, yeah. And then, like, way back in the day in EOC, we had uh, the Blood and Glory servers, but that's a totally Oh, maybe that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, that's probably what you're thinking. Yeah, it was like the more more hardcore PvP stuff, but yeah, like actual. I mean, but like the you know the rules of an MMO and the rules of a sort of like a smaller survival game are uh, pretty different because like a lot of the item drop rules here are very similar to like mods mm -hmm. so easily, mm -hmm. and it would it would be there for the extremely small number of people that want to play that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it, that's it I'm sorry, that's a cop out. That's such a cop out. They rely far too heavily on mods for this game, where there are a lot of people who play console. In fact, a vast majority of their player base play console, and they don't have access to mods, and um, maybe also want access to a challenging game mode and I don't know usability of the game without having to rely on those mods. Rude. Compelling idea, but most people <laughs> don't want to lose their stuff. Yep, the loss it's of version. For a certain personality yep. type. It's literally not that hard to add that in as a game mode. As a glutton for punishment. I am sometimes. I think it's not speed to speed I like stakes. <laughs> I mean, I, I like it when stakes are high, but I don't like losing all my stuff necessarily, but I do like a challenge too. There are so many games. DayZ, Permadeath, super popular. Okay, so let's see. Uh, any other cool outfits that we should show off? Can you quick? dye that top you're wearing? Also, on side note, mods maybe sort that out because that would be fun. I'd play that. Do I part of the inventory management? I have to level up every time. Oh, sick. Oh, yeah. well, so you have to go to the bench right now. Oh, uh, I see. I don't think you can drop the die on top. Make people really consider whether they're going to like run in and attack people. PvP permadeath mode would be epic. Oh they definitely need to fix combat in the game first, so I can see why they're not willing to do it. Oh, dog is in trouble. Dog I've no, never no, used no. a dying bench. <laughs> Oh, well. I preferred it when oh. I made it in a cauldron. They could have at least made it an alchemy bench. I don't need. Thank you, thank you, chat. Thank you, chat. That bench. And I get enough die. I need, I need your help from boxes. Or the end of the stream. 
Okay. I've never gone, oh, I need that particular diet. Well, every now and then. Oh. I have to put it in a dye bench to dye it? Damage that. Can I not dye it in my inventory anymore? I'm pretty sure they're going to make me build a dye bench just to dye my armor. No, I'm just know. never going to dye my armor. Cool. Why not? Why not? All right, cool. I, sorry, I, I I misheard you and I thought that you said that this armor cannot be dyed. Or no, I said dyed. you have to use the bench. Oh, uh, I see. Speaking of things that cannot be dyed, now that you can actually dye champion armor all of the bids, apparently. That's fun. That's one change that I don't even know if they're going to mention. They're actually going to make me build a bench to dye my armor. Fuck them. That's made me so mad out of everything in this Fair. thing. Fair. <laughs> That's... Are you happy, chat? Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend 20 minutes here while people boringly watch me try to die on my armor pink. Anyway, uh, so that's that's a bunch of the new stuff that we have coming up. Uh, <laughs> do not drink the dog. Someone, saying, <laughs> someone says drink the dog, and someone says do not drink. The I am dog. not going to drink the dog. Mountain I will not. Dog. No, Mountain Doge. After that great disappointment of learning I'm never know, dying my terrible. armor again, oh, we're getting God. a secret, oh, and no, allegedly the edge okay. of the stream. <laughs> we don't have very long left. <laughs> Thank God. The oh my God. <laughs> it's almost two a.m. now. I gotta go to bed. Oh, it's pink. It's all dyed pink still. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what it's supposed to look like. Don't worry. That's what it'll look like if you die pink. Right. You're right. Why not? Hee <laughs> hee. Smile. Hey. But yeah, it's a Zingaro. I did have it on. Yeah. Literally what he's been getting around in the entire stream had yeah. no idea that's what he was wearing. And they're like, we'll show off the fancy yeah. end battle passing. It is motherfucker. <laughs> Quick spoilers of the tabloid. They're lovely people, lovely people. No less clueless than I. I am just saying. We're coming at you very soon. Uh, yeah, you can Crazy. All, the, all the gameplay stuff still in, is already now playable uh, on our public beta, and then all the not gonna do it. stuff, of course, is not going to be available until uh, this officially releases again, April 2nd. I will be playing that. Um, I think that's all I got right now. Gosh. My exiting thoughts. Lots of things to look forward to. It is nice that they are making the changes for sure. A lot of things that they could have changed sooner, and I just don't believe in the battle pass even though i do indulge in it from time to time the bazaar in general is just a wild concept to me from someone who's been playing for so long also a lot of these new events as just minor concepts they added to the game many many moons ago never fleshed them out took away and then have added them in a bit more fleshed out now which i go is, is that's totally fine as a game dev to do that it is just a little weird to make it seem like this entirely new concept be rest assured they will break 70 four things in the game as well as adding this stuff in and it will take them some time to fix those things. I'm not being bitter here, that's just a reality, unfortunately. Like I said, this is one of my favourite games. I I have high hopes for it one day being really playable, but by then there will be other games. Like I'm already having a lot of fun playing Nightingale at the moment and Shrouded's great. I still pop on Power World every now and then. Soul Mask is coming out soon and that will definitely take the survival PvP world by storm if, and those devs care, so hopefully they'll balance that game well and in a lot quicker time to appease the community. As well as being a super fun PvE game and there's lots of building and cool role play stuff you can do in that game also. I'm not entirely sure how much Conan Exiles content is in my future. I will definitely get a whole lot of videos out for people to refer back to and make videos when there are big changes, but I definitely like to versatile out my content because there are a lot more games that I enjoy playing a lot more currently. God, even Green Hell as an old ass game has even better updates that they've been adding that make it seem like a new game and I wouldn't mind playing that again for you. And I'd like to just start doing a few actual live streams and reacting to stuff like this live, build my community a little bit more, get to know you guys, make a discord, all the fun things. So you'll be able to suggest games and even play some of those games along with me, which will be a nice change from running around with no friends on PvP Conan. Stick around for the next video, a guide on Conan Exiles. If you've enjoyed this content, even if you didn't find it that informative, I'm not sure how much I added to the actual context here, but you got to hear my obsolete opinion. If you found that entertaining at all, smash the like button and consider subscribing if you're not already. It means a bunch. I've recently hit 6k. Y'all are freaking awesome. Didn't didn't expect it at all after just almost a year of being monetized. Crazy. But until next time, I hope you have an excellent day, evening, night, morning, whatever it may be. Whatever you may be, have a good one.